We're cooking grilled ribeye steak sandwiches today. Are you ready for the most flavorful steak sandwich you've ever had? Stick around because we're about to show you how to cook it. All right, the first thing I did was fire up my PK360 with some Royal Oak Lump Charcoal. Once I've got it going, I've got my steaks out of the pack. The first thing I want to do is season up with a little bit of olive oil here, drizzle that on. Now for these steaks, I just went to my local Kroger last night, I was kind of in a hurry, grabbed a couple out of the case. These are actually some beautiful looking ribeyes. I'm going to start with a base layer of my everyday rub. Get it on and I'm going to come back with a good heavy dose of my beef rub. Now, both of them have salt, pepper, garlic. You can see that the beef rub has a little bit bigger pepper granules in it. It's also got a little bit, few other kind of peppers in it for a little bit more heat. It's got some paprika for color. Uh, it's just a good all around rub. So let's get these flipped over. A little bit up there. Get some more on here, more olive oil. Now, we're gonna let our steak set here while our grill comes up to temp. About 15 or 20 minutes to just kind of marinate in this rub. So remember a good medium dose of everyday rub. And we're gonna come back with some more beef rub. Now I'm just gonna let these hang out and get ambient about 15 minutes, like I said, before my grill comes up. I've already chopped my onions and peppers, got my mushrooms open. So once we put our steaks on, we went ahead and put our cast iron skillet on our grill. It's coming up to temp two. We'll put our peppers and onions in it. And while the steak's cooking, the peppers and onions are cooked. We'll be right back. We've got our steaks seasoned and they're resting. Our grill's coming up to fire. There's only one thing left to do. Like I said, our onion and peppers are already chopped, so is our mushrooms. I wanna make some bourbon mayo. Now this is a favorite of mine. I discovered it at a local restaurant in Memphis here. It's called Bar Dog. I love it. Uh, it's great on sandwiches as a fry dip or anything. Take some regular mayo. We have about a half a cup. Now I'm gonna take some Jack Daniels here and you wanna do a splash of bourbon in whatever you're gonna have. You can do cheap to expensive, it does not matter. They actually make it, make it with Beams 8 Star. I'm gonna use a little bit of my beef rub in it. He just uses salt and pepper in his. So I just wanna mix it up. And that little bit of bourbon taste shines through in the mayo. You wanna get it mixed up and get it in the fridge to marry. This makes it excellent on steaks or sandwiches or anything. It's so simple. Now remember, you can adjust the ingredients to taste how you like them, but a little bit of bourbon in it. This is a favorite, a favorite at our hunting club and everywhere I go to. Mm, that just needs to set in the fridge a minute. I love that. Let's get it in the fridge and then we're gonna get our steaks on the grill. We've got our PK360 fired up. You can see we've got our skillet on it. It's gonna be screaming hot. I've got a little bit of olive oil in it. I'm gonna take, I'm gonna move it off the fire here and kind of spin the handle around where I can get to it. Now, the first thing I wanna do is take and add about, I don't know, maybe one and a half to two tablespoons of butter in there. Now, I'm gonna get my mushrooms down. Let them get in. I'm gonna go ahead and put my peppers and my onions in and get them down. Now, all I'm gonna do for seasoning, I'm gonna use a little bit of my beef rub. And I wanna use some Worcestershire sauce for a little bit of depth. That's probably a couple tablespoons, one and a half to two tablespoons if I had to guess. Now, you wanna get these mixed around and start letting them saute. Try not to throw as many out as you can out of your skillet here. Now, I'm gonna pull them a little closer to my fire here, but what I am gonna do is go ahead and put my ribeye steaks on it. I'm just gonna do a turn process. I wanna cook them till they get about medium rare where I can slice them. 
for this steak sandwich. Now, like I said, I'm just gonna get this on here and I'm gonna get this grill lid shut so we don't keep a flame up and I'll open it back up in a minute or two and we'll just keep stirring and rotating those steaks till those steaks hit 125 degrees. Now, you want to, this flame is still going, so you want to get these steaks. They're going to be like a reverse sear. I'm going to swap those mushrooms and those onions around a little bit in a minute and get them over the fire once I get a sear on these steaks. All right, our steaks have been on the grill about 10 to 12 minutes. Um, they are hitting that 122, 123 mark right there in the eye. So... I think we're going to be good to pull them, let them rest, and we're going to get our steak sandwich built. Our steaks are off the grill, so is our peppers and onions. Now, I did take the liberty of taking our bread that we bought, this fresh break from Kroger. I sliced it open, put it on the grill to warm it up a little bit and get a little toast action on it. Now, the first thing I'm going to do is take our bourbon mayo and start smearing some in that bread. Now, once you get your mayonnaise on your sandwiches, you want to take you at least two pieces of provolone, and we're going to put on each one like that. Now, we want to take our steak, get it sliced up, thinly cut, get some peppers and on, onions on it, get a little bit more provolone, and maybe put it back on the grill to melt a little bit. Now, the steaks have rested for about 10 minutes. I'm going to start by slicing into one of them and oh, these things are going to be juicy and good. Oh yeah. Look at that right there. Good old medium rare to medium. Now you just want to slice these kind of thin. I'm going to kind of slice them on a bias a little bit at an angle. And then we're going to start assembling our steak sandwiches. Now that we've got all our steak cut up, we want to assemble our sandwiches. I'm going to start off by taking a little peppers and onions and mushrooms and putting in each one. Now, let's start building them. Now, just to uh, finish off our steak sandwich, we want to take a little bit of our garlic butter, sprinkle on top of that cheese. Let's get it back on this grill to melt down. Woo, those look good. Now that we've got our steak sandwiches off the grill from melting the cheese on them, let's do a quick recap. We took two about inch and a quarter ribeyes we picked up from Kroger last night. Some peppers, some onions, some mushroom. We sauteed those down, grilled the steaks off until they reached 125 degrees. We seasoned them with our everyday and our beef rub. Assembled them with some provolone cheese, some bourbon mayo. We sliced up the steak. We finished them off with a little bit of garlic butter and an extra piece of provolone cheese. And now there's only one thing left to do. Get in here and try it. Let's cut one in half and taste it. Scoot it out of the way. Oh yeah, look at that. That's gonna be a good sandwich right there. Man, yeah, peppers, onions, mushrooms, cheese, medium rare steak. What more could a man ask for? Mmm. Mm. feel like I'm wearing it. The in-depth flavor that it has, it's an incredible steak sandwich. If you like steak sandwiches or want a simple, easy recipe for lunch on the weekend or for the game, 
or even dinner at night. Give this recipe a try. I'm sure you and your friends and family will love it. You can find us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, and of course YouTube. We'll see you next week with a new video.